Recently, we've seen a lot of interest in GEO, Generative Engine Optimization, aka optimizing websites for AI search engines such as Perplexity or ChatGPT. Indeed, these AI platforms are growing very fast, but what are the real market numbers and how should we adjust to and leverage AI search? Hi there, my name is Matt and I am a co-founder of Omnius, one of Europe's leading B2B SEO agencies, partnering up with some of the best SaaS and fintech companies out there. Recently, we've been reading a lot of AI search dominance and Google is that type of posts, but the new data has shown that this is far from reality. Based on new research from SparkToro, Google grew 21.64% in 2024 alone. This is a significant year-over-year -year increase, even with AI overviews reducing click-through rates. Overall search activity has increased and now it receives 373 times more searches than its largest AI-based alternative, ChatGPT. On the other hand, the share of AI search engines is growing very fast and shouldn't be ignored, but compared to the complete search market, it's still pretty small for now. Google gets over 14 billion searches per day, while ChatGPT receives around 37.5 million searches per day, making its search volume closer to Pinterest, which gets approximately 20 million searches per day, or a third of DuckDuckGo that gets 108 million per day. Other AI search competitors such as Claude, Perplexity or Copilot get even smaller numbers and actually on the second position when it comes to these search engines is Google's very own Gemini, but considering it's a part of Google's ecosystem, it's hardly a competitor. Based on the research from our team at Omnius, we believe that AI search engines shouldn't be ignored at all. Simply, SEO is growing to multi-channel SEO, and there is a lot of value to acquire from LLM-based search and GEO. Basically, we can conclude that GEO is not a new iteration of SEO, but a new subcategory of it. Based on our data, the prediction here is that most of top of the funnel and B2C queries will be done through AI engines in the future and for middle to bottom of the funnel and B2B queries, also known as transactional ones that are, for example, important for SaaS and fintech companies, for this Google will keep being the primary source of information. Additionally, a lot of AI search engines feed from Google's results. So most of the time working on SEO goes hand in hand with ranking on AI search engines. For example, 60 to 70% of top search results on perplexity correlate highly with ones on Google. So how to rank on AI search engines, including ChatGPT, perplexity and Copilot? Let's talk about GEO strategies that have proven effective in practice. Number one, AI search engines have difficulties reading JavaScript. If your website content is heavily dependent on it, it might be invisible to AI search crawlers, making your website unrankable on these AI search engines. LLM search engines prefer less descriptive direct in answer content with clear headings and paragraphs. In other words, you should write content that directly answers specific prompts, also known as natural language queries. Think of questions that your target audience might be asking ChatGPT and try to fulfill their need through your content. For optimize technically your website not only for Google, but also for Bing using webmasters tools. Based on research, if you rank well on Bing, you have a higher chance of ranking on search GPT, as studies suggest that up to 87% of search GPT citations matched Bing's top results. 
One interesting news related to this is that Microsoft Copilot is now integrated directly into Bing Webmaster's tools, presumably making the process of optimizing websites for Bing more frictionless. Traditional SEO relies on meta description and title tags, but AI search rely more on structured data to get a feeling and understand the context on what's present on the website. Implementing a clear, logical structure with dedicated URLs for each subtopic will improve the crawlability of AI models. You should also add a schema markup, which is a code added to the website that helps AI understand the structure of content and it should be implemented for different use cases such as FAQ, how to or product once. Number five, people talking about your product and linking to your website matters for AI as well. Most AI algorithms combine high authority sources with user generated discussions. This means that your content needs to do two things. Show authority by being cited on niche relevant websites. You can find good opportunities by simply prompting target queries on perplexity or ChatGPT and looking at sources. That's where you want to be. Be present in user generated discussions and curation feeds. Based on the search engine journal study that analyzed over 40,000 responses containing quarter of a million citations, here are the findings. Perplexity uh, has 6.61 citations per response and it's favoring YouTube and peer spot. Google's Gemini has 6.1 citations per response and frequently cites Medium, Reddit and YouTube while ChatGPT has 2.62 citations per response, it often refers to LinkedIn, G2 and Gartner. So two cents from this might be that it's a good idea to engage with communities on Reddit and Quora and also be present on G2 and Gartner and also it might not be a bad idea to publish your articles and posts on LinkedIn and Medium as well. AI search engines favor newer, fact-checked and data-backed content over outdated posts. Based on our experience, data relevancy is an increasingly important factor for ranking on LLMs. Nowadays, with content creation having very low barriers, it's very logical to say that the most important differentiating factor here will be the relevancy of data that gets published. Whether we are talking about the originality of it, time relevance or factual, contextual or grammar accuracy. What should you do about it? Simply, you can. Number one, invest more into research and information fact checking. Number two, implement deeper content protocols to standardize the quality of information you publish. And number three, you can also update older blog posts and web pages with new time relevant data more often. And for now, that's it regarding this interesting trend of GEO. I warmly recommend visiting our website at omnius.com. So, if you'd like to learn more on how to rank on both traditional search engines but also AI-powered ones. We write a lot of case studies on how we help B2B SaaS and fintech companies grow organically. So, for example, how we grew AI LLM SaaS from 0 to 2.7 million clicks in 30 months. And on the other hand, we also write general time-relevant publications based on our learnings including a guide on how to rank on ChatGPT, bad SEO practices to avoid in 2025, and lots more. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. Cheers.